Hi everyone, welcome back to another Disney Bachelor Challenge episode. How are you doing, Joaquin? You know, I am a little bit feeling uh, slighted. Why is that? Because you did not even ask me if I wanted to do a musical with you. You just went on ahead and invited other peoples to sing a duet with you. And no matters for the Joaquin. <laughs> well, it wasn't a date with you, was it? Well, you know, of course not, but you know I like to sing. <laughs> okay, Joaquin, I'll keep it in the back of my mind for a future episode, perhaps. We'll see. Well, thank you. That is all I am asking is for a little consideration. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we have a really special episode today, don't we, Joaquin? Yes, that is true. We are not going to do an elimination challenge this week. Da, da, da. We are going to do an integration challenge this week. Oh my goodness, what does that even mean? That means that our lovelies in the dungeon get an opportunity to come back into the game. <gasps> Escándalo! I know, right? Well, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. And what we're going to do today is refresh your memory on their backstories and their journey in this challenge. Um, we know that Dee has had two dates. So while Dee is part of the final four, because we are bringing in a girl from the dungeon, um, she will not have another date with Hook for the remainder of the challenge. Oh, I bet she is really upset about this. This girl is head over knuckles in love with this. Head over knuckles? Do you know when somebody likes somebody really, 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 really much? Head over heels. Oh, yes. Do you know me in the words? So what we're going to do, again, is just refresh your memory on their journey, on all the girls that are in the dungeon. And then I am going to post a voting card on this upload. It is... On the video, it is an eye encased in a circle, and when you left click on it, you're going to get the option to vote for a girl to come back into the game. So shall we look at our girls and just go through them one by one? I would love that. Jess, let's do. All right, so we're going to start with Reyna. Oh, the queen of farts. <laughs> if you guys remember, she is our Southern Belle. She was raised in a very well-to-do family. However, her parents went through a tragedy. And while she wasn't necessarily raised by them, she um, really felt their loss. Um, so she became a gambling guru uh, taught by her nanny. And she got into a little bit of a pickle with Peter Pan, if you remember, she got into the competition in order to be able to win money to pay Peter Pan off. Tell me if I am wrong, but I feel like the Queen of Farts was never really fully invested in this game. I feel like she came into this game to hide away from the bad guys. Well, you know, you have a point, but we never got to see her and Hook together. Maybe there'll be chemistry. Maybe there won't. So it's up to you guys to vote on whether you would like Rena to come back into the game. Oh, this girl is really pretty in the face, but she's got extra limbs on her body. and makes me a little bit of freaked out. <laughs> okay. Well, if you guys remember Tigress's story, she is part of the fairies project as well. And there are some assumptions that Tigress and... Tink, who we'll see in a, in a little bit, are sisters. Um, she came into the story later on in the game um, because she and Hook met up while they were both scouting out Peter Pan. Um, and they brought Peter Pan to justice together. They don't have quite a strong romantic relationship to speak of, but that's mainly because a lot of their scenes together was really focusing on... Um, bringing bringing down the bad guy so i don't know if we want to give her an opportunity to come back into the game or if we just want to let her play out the rest of the competition in the dungeon 
you know, I don't know about you guys and the viewers, but I don't know about this one. Well, you know, I really am curious to see if they would ever have chemistry. Like I said, when they're together, they really look like amazing friends, her and Hook. So really up to you guys. Her name is on the voting card. If you'd like to see her come back into the game, you know what to do. Just click on her name. Oh, this one is very special. Yeah, she is. This is Tink. Belle Tink, better known as Tinker Bell or just Tink, she indeed developed a really, really strong friendship in the very beginning of this competition. And I think they're going to be quote unquote sisters from another mister for the rest of their life. Um, she also uh, had a really intense scene with Hook where she confessed that she had a connection with Peter Pan. Oh, yes, I remember Peter Pan's took her out of the fairies project. Uh, she is a bioengineer human, human something, right? Some, some sapien of some sort. Hi. <laughs> and uh, she actually wanted to get out of the fairies project and really explore the world. And Peter Pan gave her hope that she would be able to do that. But she became his engineering slave. Um, and she thought she loved him. But when she met Hook, she realized that Hook is the true personification of a real man. And she actually fell in love with Hook as well. And they, they have some intensity when they're together. Don't you agree? Oh, yes. It's like in Fuego or something in the rooms when they're together. The way he looks at her with such kindness. The way she looks at him with such, uh, uh, uh. You know, she like him. <laughs> okay. She does like him. I really do believe she likes him. And I'd really like to give her an opportunity to come back to the game. But again, it's in your hands, viewers. If you would like to see Tinkerbell back in the challenge, it would be really nice for you to click her name on the viewing card. If not, we have a couple more girls to look at, I think. Oh, this is Diali. Isn't she pretty? Yes, she's very, very pretty. However, she is kind of weird. You've got to admit, she's, uh, I think in this case, well, let's just give her the backstory, shall we? Would you like the honors? I would love the honors. My little Anis is a journalist and she blackmailed me into allowing her to come into the competition because she wanted the scoop on the challenge of a lifetime for her article and she was competing with her peer, Robbie Wright. Yes. So when she came into the challenge, her, her perspective and her priority was, quote unquote, the scoop. But the scoop was she actually fell in love with Hook as well. So um, this one's a little bit hard because I feel like, I feel like while Hook thinks she is absolutely stunning... I don't think he has that connection that he has with Dee or Pocahontas, even though he hasn't even been on a date with Matawaka um, and with Tink. I think, honestly, if we were going to compare like the strong emotional ties, those would be the girls that I would think Hook is into. Uh, but then there's also Smee. So um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Up to you guys. If you guys would like to see Allie come back into the competition, you click on that I encase in a circle and click on her name. Um, so that is that with Allie. Do you have any other thoughts, Joaquin? No, I, I just, would you just leave the picture up here for a little bit? I, I like looking at this face. <laughs> okay. So those are the girls in the dungeon. However, whoever you bring back into the game will have an insured date with Hook. All right? So you guys let me know who you would like that date to be with. And subsequently, all the other girls that are left in the house will have one more date with Hook, except for Dee, because she's had two already. So that means Matuaka, Smee, and whoever you bring back from the dungeon will have 
a guaranteed date with Hook. I'm really, really excited. And then we'll have the final episode where Hook will give his rose to his future queen. Oh my goodness gracious, that is so exciting. I know, right? Well, listen, I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm going to be looking at these stats every flipping hour of every single day to see who you guys are wanting to bring back. And with that, I'm going to sign off until next week where you get to see who won the competition and also we'll do a little bit of background on some of the girls that remain in the game and perhaps even see one of those three finalist dates remaining the following week. All right. So I'll talk to you soon. Virtual hugs. Have a great rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you super soon. Toodaloos.